Hey guys, so cool. Back to Yakuza Kiwami. Let's carry on where we left off. We've reached the finale, the final chapter of the game. I'm not quite sure we're ready to uh, finish up just yet. There are a few side activities I still want to try and explore before we inevitably confront Nishiki, especially after what just happened. We lost Kazuma, dear Pops. Uh, Shimano also bit the bullet, or yeah, actually he's the one who bit the bullet. Kazuma's the one who bit the grenade. So. I need to work off some of my fury and sadness. These guys will do. Okay, first things first, let's head back to Club Shine. I've been recommended to revisit here in the comments. I'm suspecting it has something to do with Majima. I should come back when I'm alone. Never mind, Araka, come on. I need to drop you off somewhere. I need to hire a babysitter. And definitely not Majima. Even though that guy is everywhere and probably available on short notice, I don't think he'd be a very good role model for you, Haruka. I mean, even though Haruka knows what these clubs are, I don't think it would be appropriate to have her sit beside me in the booth while we drink gold champagne, if you know what I mean. Guys, can you please look after this child? <laughs> wow, it's like he knows this is the end. Oh, what is it? 300,000 yen! Oh, is that to uh, recompense me for the Shangri-La ticket? Last chance for free time. This is your last chance for free time before the final showdown. Okay, we can create save data just in case. Well, uh, yeah, let's let's uh, head around. I guess Haruka is allowed to stay at this particular club. She can hang out in the office. Okay, I was going to say time for the grand tour, but I guess our first stop is right here outside Stardust. Ooh. I thought I saw something shaky, but it must have been my eyes playing tricks on me. I didn't find this, though. I'll take it with me. Patriarch's bat. Oh, Majima, leaving his bat lying around. That's the kid I gave some food to a little while ago. What's he doing here? Looks like he found the energy to walk across town and find another park to hole up in. Boy. Hey, kid. Oh, it's you again, mister. What are you doing standing around here? I'm waiting for my mom to pick me up. She works nearby and she picks me up when she's off. It's usually pretty late, but I'm kind of bored because there's no one to talk to. Can't blame you there. This is a public park and no one ever visits except for homeless men and drunkards. So thanks for talking to me, mister. I think this is the first time I've said a word today. Uh, really? <laughs> well, just make sure you don't talk to strangers. Like me. Mm. Yep. I know. See you, mister. Uh. Yeah. Any kid who has to wait for their parent to pick them up is bound to be bored. Maybe I should go to that vending machine across the street and uh, procure him some objectionable material. Haruka seems like she'd be about his age. Maybe she could keep him company for a little while. Ah, oh, see? And it'll be more appropriate than dropping her off at Stardust, don't you think? Everywhere I go, something shakes. I don't like it, I'm getting paranoid. There you are. I gotcha. Well, we've maxed out S rank. What do we have? Word on Shimano. Kiri-chan, I heard you and your boys ended Shimano. If you think that's an issue, it ain't. Shimano's fights were his own. Even if I avenged him, fact is, he lost to you. And me killing you does nothing. So it's business as usual for me. And I got my eye on you. Be ready, Kiri-chan. That's all. Okay, so that's good. At least he's not seeking retribution for our murder. Well, not murder, sorry. It was Tarada who shot him in the first place. <laughs> and that was kind of preemptive revenge because the grenade hadn't exploded yet so I mean I didn't even think of the fact that Majima might try and come after us for taking down the patriarch of the Shimano family and Rina I'm working right now if you have some time please come by the club yeah I was planning to do so but I had a child with me but now that that's taken care of plus I've been counted Majima like twice on the way let's go ahead and pay a visit okay uh -huh. we're back hi Rina of course. I mean, you're the only girl I know, and I did say I was going to request you, didn't I? What am I wearing? What? Are you kidding me? This is my signature suit. I'm supposed to wear this for another six games. God, okay. Way to start us off. You think I'm going to buy gold champagne after that? We'll have orange juice, thank you. I want this. Okay, fine. Sorry, I shouldn't have insulted your fashion sense. Okay, 
May you have some? No, this juice is for me. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you, okay, you can't just insult me and then expect to get like treated like a princess, okay? No, this is already started off on the on the wrong foot. I don't care if this affects my ranking. <laughs> Cheers, let's enjoy ourselves tonight. No, we're not, okay? This is a disaster. This is gonna go on Reddit. Am I the asshole for not sharing my drink with someone who insulted my clothes? No, I'm not married, I'm afraid. Although, I've recently caught wind that my crush, Yumi, is actually alive and well, and she's roaming the streets under a false identity, not related to my crush or anything, I promise. I didn't stalk her and she was forced to change her identity or anything. Uh. Yeah, I'm single. Not even divorced. I see. <laughs> uh, not exactly. I don't want to admit it, but I may be a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> no, but are you asking because, because someone cheated on you? Oh. Oh. I see. That sucks. I'll admit that sucks. Wow, that sucks. Did you end up breaking it off? I mean, you know, isn't that just soul crushing? Like, uh, I'm not good enough? The person I love doesn't love me. He prefers someone else. You know, it's different if it's just a crush, but if you're already in a relationship, you know? Ugh. So then that. Yeah, but if you fall for someone else, it's not really cheating. It's just falling out of love. It was right to break up, if you ask me. <laughs> this is a disaster! Oh god. Fair enough. You haven't kept in touch? Oh? Ah, what did it say? Wow. Way to punch her in the gut. <laughs> Received a text the other day. Imagine texting your ex. Hey, my ex-girlfriend just decided to marry the person I traded you in for. We're leaving the country to live overseas. It's going to be glamorous. Hope you're okay. <laughs> what? Was the new girlfriend a foreigner? Oh, God, even worse. <laughs> then why did they go overseas? Oh, okay, alright, I see, I see. Wait, so your ex was... That's on me. That's on me for assuming. Of course it was, girl. Uh, they won't. <laughs> Should I dish out some toxicity on my own? Well, they won't make it, okay? If they're gonna treat you like this shit, no, they're not gonna make it. Uh, <laughs> they won't make it. I probably should have said they're so progressive overseas. I doubt they'll make it. Maybe you should try to split them up. Not that it's any of my business. <laughs> oh, brick, I carry you. Well, I thought you just wanted support. I can't imagine what a marriage between two women would be like, but I'm sure they're going to face a lot of obstacles. Okay, carry it. That's the. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, I, I promise. Not to mention living in a brand new place. Oh, it's bound to be stressful. They'll probably argue over lots of things. <sighs> You're right. I'm just, uh, I'm just upset, okay? Everyone I know is dead. Basically. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I guess I'm being jealous on your behalf. Mm, true. That's tough. Speed run the worst date possible. I should keep talking. No, I don't think you should be keep. I don't think you should continue to talk here. You look at the damage we've done. Okay, you know what? Let's give her a present. What do I have? We'll give her an Italian necklace. What's wrong? Uh, this is a necklace I got from someone in this club. Oh, how did I know? Oh, <laughs> date salvaged. <laughs> Oh, good. And then he just looks away, like, so casual, like, oh, yeah, this was my doing all along. <sighs> so there you go. If the date's going horrible, you can pay your way to a nice time. What's wrong? 
Is it something I said? Okay. Thanks for the trivia. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. That's okay. That's his prerogative if he wants to go to karaoke alone. Just like it's a fine. Just just like it's fine to go to the movies by yourself. And God forbid, go to a restaurant by yourself. I I vouch for that. <laughs> Solo karaoke, huh? Seems lots of people are doing that now. Although I was doing it before it was cool. Way back in the 80s. That is kind of true, though. Karaoke is a lot more fun But you need the right friends, you know? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm not a fan of those friends who bring a phone along and try to record you when you say, you, you know, let's all make a fool of ourselves, okay? There's no need to shape, especially if they bring their phone and record you and they don't sing themselves. That is just, no. That's not good karaoke etiquette. There must be some people who like to sing their hearts out without worrying about embarrassing themselves in front of others. Everyone enjoys karaoke in their own way. Oh, really? Well, you probably would have a horrible time with me, judging by what's going on so far tonight. What happened? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> well, it doesn't even sound like he participated in karaoke. He was just sitting there. Uh, think of it as an education. <laughs> I don't know. Are any of these answers good? You should adjust to his tastes. He ought to sing current songs. So then, unless you pick some music everyone knows, the people with you won't have any fun. Hmm. I. <laughs> Are they not current songs, though? What? Then how do you have fun with people at karaoke? Right, gotcha. That explains it. So, what kind of songs do you listen to? Anime songs! Well, I tend to listen to video game soundtracks myself. I mean, I've been on a Yakuza Zero buzz, <laughs> honestly. To, like, the final couple of tracks on that album, like, we, we got With Vengeance, we've got Arch Nemesis, we've got Two Dragons, we've got Rain. I just, I love listening to them in a row. Add in Kuze's two combat themes. God, it's like my work playlist right now. <laughs> Especially driving in and uh, to and from home. It just it it gets me hyped up. It gets me hyped up for the day. I can't I can't deny it. That's why I put Ultimate Road Rage when we were in that <laughs> in that car chase scene earlier. Because god damn, that's a banger. Uh should we order something else? I'm tired of giving her presents. Let's order something. I'm a little hungry. The most expensive thing. Fruit platter. Why not? I want this. Oh, yeah? Getting pretty serious, huh? Okay, that's a parasocial relationship, if anything. One of those pretty boy singers? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that was about to say. Kiri, come on, man. Did we just forget what we talked about five minutes ago? Fair enough. That's interesting. I get that young ladies would admire an idol her age, but I don't know many grown women who are still into idols. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, adults are still into Disney, or cartoons. A small head and soft hands. <laughs> okay. Way to describe an idol. Uh, it's nice that you can get so close. <laughs> In the old days, idols only existed on the other side of the TV screen. But now you can actually meet them, huh? Wow, one-on-one -on -one even. How do they have time for that? Oh god, okay, that's too much. Jeez, are you gonna buy her bath water while you're at it? In a way, hostesses are a lot like idols. You bring happiness to others. Just talking to you makes me happy. Just don't touch my fruit on the fruit platter if you haven't washed your damn hands, okay? Whoa. 
All right. There we go. We managed to save this date. Please don't shake my hand. Hey, you'd be one calculating idol. My time is up. Well, nearly up. I've had enough drinks. I'm good to go. Oh, God. 20 grand. Fine. I'll pay it. Get me out of here. Yes? Oh. Today was really fun. Should we do karaoke? Uh. Yeah, I had fun too. <laughs> okay. Thank you for holding my hand. Hey! We made it to D. I'll take that. I'm alone and bored. You want to get tea with me? Come to Nakamichi Street. Uh, I'm not exactly bored. <laughs> Oh, I guess I can make time for tea. I should head over to Nakamichi Street. Or should I head back into Shine? I swear that's not what was recommended to me in the comments. You wish to request Rina-san? My apologies, sir. She's not working this evening, I'm afraid. Yeah, she actually asked me to meet her somewhere else, so this is my chance to find a different hostess. I see. Then I'll stop by some other time. Thank you for your patience. We hope to see you again soon. Well, I guess there's nothing for me at Shine. Oh, good. I'm gonna move on with my life. Clearly... It wasn't enough for Q to get scammed in the game. Now I'm getting scammed by my own comments. <laughs> getting a phone call. Hey, it's Nishida from the Majima family. Again. So it is. Anyway, the boss is waiting for you at the entrance to West Park. He says this is the final showdown. Really? He says he wants to check one last time to see whether or not you've recovered from your 10-year hiatus. Uh, sir? I see. The boss seemed pretty serious this time, so I'd suggest you prepare more than you usually might. That's all. I promise there's no zombies. Bye. Okay. Majima-san is waiting for me at the West Park entrance. This is really the end. I better make sure I'm ready. Okay. Am I ready? I think I am. Well, there he is. Having his usual cigarette. Oh, you came, Kiryu-chan! Uh. I got the call from Nishida. This is it. The final check. Uh. That's right. I gotta know. Are you the Dragon of Dojima? Or is he still sleeping on the job? You hear of your own free will, at my invitation. We're past eating a reason, right? Uh. Yeah. Then I'm gonna ask one last time. Are you ready to fight me for real? Let's do it. For real. Uh. If this will settle the whole thing with you, Majima-san, then I accept the challenge. Huh. Whether or not it's settled all depends on you. Oh? Here I come, Kiryu-chan! Show it to me! Show me the real dragon of Dojima! Okay, well, my eyes glowed red. I think I'm here. Ready and willing to play. Start with a sumo slap! Yeah! Looks like you were the one who wasn't prepared. I could just tiger drop this entire thing, couldn't I? <laughs> oh no! Well, that's reversed all by progress. The fighting has spilled out onto the street. Another sumo slap for his troubles. Ah, oh, kicking bicycles at me now? You can take this back. Oh, he's dodging. Okay, he couldn't dodge that tornado. Okay, <laughs> there we are. The dragon's back. So close, just a little more. Seriously, we're almost there. Okay, well, you somehow managed to drag yourself back across the street to hang out by the the fire. Mm -hmm. What? You still want more? Huh? Kiryu-chan, I need more. I know you're capable of more power than what you just showed me. I dumped a bicycle on your head. What else do you want from me? You can become stronger. Don't give up. If you can keep pushing yourself, I can push myself harder too. Mm. Uh, okay. See you later! Oh, okay. Just like that, huh? I still need to beat him five more times. Great, I guess this thing with Majima's not as over as I'd hoped it would be after this. We're in overtime. Dagger mastery! And I got Mad Dog gloves. And I have no space for them. Unlocked by energy reserves when I'm close to death. Oh my god, so I'm just going through my completion list because I just was curious. I think we're only up to, what, 30... something percent? 38 percent. So I was going through the play log, I was like, oh, Majima Yaru, he's got a list of encounters. Holy shit, there are a lot that I haven't yet unlocked. We've got four question marks on the Majima everywhere. 
uh, Majima of the End, which is Zombie Majima. I don't know what these other ones are. We got Suddenly Majima. <laughs> We've already got three, so you can still uh, come out from <laughs> two other places. Don't forget Majima, forcing his way into a fight. We've at least accomplished all of Hidden Majima. And we're missing one everyday Majima. And we're missing a lot of playtime, Majima. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Louise. I guess, uh, let's keep exploring town. You know I gotta try out Pocket Circuit as well before the end. Yeah. Right, Pocket Circuit Fighter? Oh, kazuma -kun. So how about it? Can you help me find a worthy successor? Finding a Pocket Circuit Fighter for the next generation. The fighter needs my help. Should I lend a hand? Yes, of course we should. Sure, I'll help. Guess I can't say no to you. You've always taken care of me. So, sure, I'll help you find your successor. <laughs> for, for real? Cosmic Hood! Uh. Sure. But I can't make any guarantees. Your help is all I can ask for. Thank you, Cosmic Hood! Oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. Do you still have the car you used to race with back then? Uh, I've been through a lot since then. I, I'm not sure where it went. It was, it was a pretty fucking good car, though, wasn't it? Then I'll give you a new machine as a welcome back gift. Man. Is it a good one? Really? Are you sure? For sure! It's to celebrate our reunion! Please take it! <laughs> then I humbly accept. Thanks, fighter. I got Gollum Tiger! Alright. That machine's basically full of stock parts, though. If you want to go faster, you'll need to tweak it with new parts. You can find parts all over town, or just buy them at the parts shop over there. True. Oh, the bug-eyed man's not there anymore. Oh no, he's there, but his eyes are less buggy. Uh. Yeah, customizing a car to take on different courses was one of my favorite parts about pocket circuit racing. Oh. Uh. Yep, most definitely. Why don't we race as a refresher? Sure, I'd love that. Okay. Oh, I barely beat him! Fighter, you were going easy on me because it's the tutorial after all. Okay, well maybe he's just getting old, I don't know, I don't want to say that out loud. How was Pocket Circuit after such a long hiatus? If you want to race, or if there's something you want to know, come talk to me. Uh. Yeah, got it. Okay, cosmic -kun. Thank you for looking at it for my successor. I'll be waiting. Along with your entry in a race. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Well, where's the passion, carry you? Come on. I'm as passionate as he is about Pocket Circuit. I have no idea where I could find someone like that. Maybe I could start at an arcade. People who like Pocket Circuit must like video games, too. Right? <laughs> Or maybe we just get Majima to do it, you know, share my hobby with him. Apparently I've got a lot of mini games I need to participate with him with. Him with. Uh, perhaps he's a potential pocket circuit uh, player that we can go up against. Well, well, look who has busted into a fight, and it's Slugger, of course. I've missed this so much. Here we go, it's our first race. We're starting off with the easy introductory course. Of course, I've got a lot of uh, different parts ready to kick these guys' ass. And this looks to be a simple race. All right, introductory race complete. Damn, we're good. I haven't missed a beat. I even lapped someone. Loser. Yeah. I don't have to see that heartbreaking animation of me complaining about my loss. Alright, Little Racist Cup is looking to be a lot closer. Oh, we're neck and neck with Pink. God, it's been so long since I've made kids cry. I mean, I kind of did slap Haruka in the face, but uh, I prefer <laughs> the non-physical way of making him cry. We have to boost with third. Oh. Final lap, come on, we can cinch this! Oh, what a clutch! Shame on you, Kazuki! Ah, oh, fuck, I was so happy, my controller disconnected. Oh, can't wait to drink your tears tonight! Look at you, wailing in the background. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether it's an inch or a mile, Kazuki. Wins, win it. You never had your car! <laughs> Trying to do a stick shift? <laughs> Yeah! Suck it, kids. Hear you, John! Oh, I knew it. I knew it'd be into Pocket Circuit. I'm ready to play! Oh. majma son. <laughs> what are you doing here? This is my hobby. You can't ruin Pocket Circuit for me. Oh. Huh? 
what the hell is this place? I won't let you cause a scene here. Let's go outside. There's kids. Only I'm- <laughs> only I can make him cry. Hey, hey! Have you been having fun without me, Kiri-chan? No, that's just mean. How dare you keep such a fun-looking place a secret? Let's just go outside, okay? Please, for the love of God, I'll fight you. Nope. I don't care about your- I don't care about you right now, Kiri-chan. This place is some kind of wonderland. Yeah, I guess. You're so frustrating. If you won't go outside willingly, I'll have to take you out by force. Oi! You two. That's enough. This is Pocket Circuit Stadium. A place of family fun where everyone can enjoy Pocket Circuit. Oh, so this is Pocket Circuit, huh? That's right. And I'm the Pocket Circuit Fighter. Trusted with the care of Pocket Circuit Stadium. I won't let you two start a fight here. Oh, but Pocket Circuit Fighter, we've been longtime friends. Please allow me to take this vermin out. He's gonna ruin the he's gonna ruin the hobby. Yeah. You've got the wrong idea, fighter. We weren't really fighting. Yet. Cosmo, what's the matter with you? You're usually so friendly with everyone. <laughs> Rejecting a rookie isn't like you at all. What are you, a gatekeeper now? Yeah. Yeah, Kir... Kazuma kun Not like you at all. Damn it. Fine. There's nothing I can do. I'll stop trying to force Majima-san to leave. <laughs> now that's what, how I'd expect Kamurocho's fastest to behave. Uh huh? huh? Kamurocho's... fastest? That's right. Seventeen years ago, Kazuma Kun was the racer who earned that title, Kamurocho's fastest, right here in this pocket circuit stadium. Then he went to jail, and he was disgraced. He defeated many skilled racers and won the title on his own merit. He's a legend, and we still talk about him now, even all these years later. Y you do? Why isn't my poster on the wall then or something, you know? Where's the Hall of Fame at? <laughs> I was so young. I really put my heart into the mods in my machine. Wait a minute. So that means if I can beat Kiryu-chan, I'd be Kamurocho's fastest? That's a pretty big if. Although I have lost my car. <laughs> <laughs> Such confidence! I'm discovering a whole new side of you, Kiryu-chan. Alright, let's have a pocket circuit race. Okay, I'll give you a machine that'll be perfect for you. But first, tell me your name. Goro Majima. Welcome, Goro-kun. From today and forevermore, you are a pocket circuit racer. Hell yeah! Now, please accept this, your first machine. What is it? Mm, so this is a pocket circuit machine, huh? Pretty well made for a toy. Now, now, its appearance and construction aren't the only things amazing about it. Wait till you see its speed. Well, now that I got a machine, it's time to race, Kiri John. I'm coming for your title. Ugh. Challenge accepted. Rookie course, but of course. <laughs> All right, let's take on Majua. I don't need to customize my killer bee. Oh, uh, what? How come he gets the cool car? Damn it! Fighter! You didn't even give me this killer bee. I had to grab it from a pawn shop. Ugh. He's fast! Oh no! I was not expecting this. He's destroying me! No, oh, this is my turf! This is my territory! He's ruining it! He's ruined Pocket Circuit for me! No, no, I'm... Is this what the kids feel like when they're losing? No, I'm crying. Why does it look closer than it is? On the, on the left. I'm two seconds behind. Fighter, this isn't fair! What did you give him? You set me up! I'm never gonna find a successor for you! No! He's finished! What a disgrace. I've disgraced the scene. Oh, no. <laughs> I win! It is I, Kamurocho's fastest man alive, Goro-kun! <laughs> Damn it. How could it end like this? Huh? Oh? You crying for a rematch? I'll race you until you understand your place. I'll be back with better parts! <laughs> Five minigame battles against Majima, that's our second one. Oh, great, now he's gonna spend time here. Oh, God, kids! Hide yourselves! There's a new tyrant in town. Oh, God, I can't even leave the place. He's stalking me on the street. God! Isn't it enough that you beat me in Pocket Circuit at my own hobby? Oh, God, it's you again. Cock of the walk, I swear to God. Do you just patrol these streets trying to bump into me? Well, I really wish you'd followed me out using your breaker style rather than slugger. 
Thought the arcade would be a decent spot to scout out the fighter's successor, especially now that Majima's there. I can't have him be fighter's successor. That would be an absolute disaster. But I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. And yet, someone's about to come up to me. No. Sir, I just end up on that machine. Uh, mind moving? Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh. Eh? That voice. And that intimidating face. Oh my god, are you one of the pocket circuit kids? Is that you, Kazuma-kun? Mm. Huh? You're right, I'm Kazuma. How dare you call me Kazuma-kun, though? Have we met somewhere? You better be from Pocket Circuit, otherwise that was a blatant disrespect of the do Dragon of Dojima, okay? It's me, Hideki. We used to play Pocket Circuit together. Mm. Hideki. Hideki. Oh my god! He's all grown up! Oh. Oh! I remember now. The Pocket Circuit boy. Hideki-kun. It's been a while. How have you been? Good. I've got a boring desk job these days, but I still swing down to Kamurocho when I can when I can to play around. Mm. <laughs> I see. You sure grew up, Hideki-kun. Well, I would hope so. Hey, don't be like that. You sound like one of my uncles. What's up with you, guy? Anyway, why are you standing around looking like death in an arcade of all places? Well, I did some hard time. Ten years. <laughs> Unpocket circuit related, <laughs> I can assure you. Actually. All right. What? The fighter's getting married? Oh, you, okay, you don't care that I went to prison? You just care about the fact that fighter's getting married? Okay, sure, that's good news, but what about me? Yeah, I was surprised too. This might be the fighter's only shot at happiness, so I want to do what I can to help. Mm, yeah, I'm sure this is his last chance. I agree that the industry needs some new blood. But the pocket circuit fighter wants a successor, eh? Uh. Yeah. I'm on the hunt for someone as passionate about pocket circuit as he is. But I don't even know where to start. Would you be interested? It might make a good fit for you. Uh, oh, no way. <laughs> Besides, I have a job to think about. <clears throat> True. Well, people have families and careers. Even if they love Pocket Circuit, they can't become the fighter. Damn it. I'm the one who doesn't have a family or a career. I guess the fighter may have to give up on marriage. <laughs> oh, God. Wait. I might have a lead for you. <clears throat> That's so? Mm, I'm not sure yet. I wonder if he'd even consider being the new Pocket Circuit fighter. Well, even if it's a slim chance, I'd like to ask. I can't let Fighter get more downcast than he already is. Uh, okay. Do you remember a boy named Takuma-kun? Takuma. <laughs> You're bully, right? I can't remember. Uh. Yeah, I remember. He's the kid who always played with you. What's he up to these days? Is he still in town? Sorry, no, he was the kid that ran off to hang out with that girl, right? Yeah, he's here. But I haven't seen him lately because it's been... awkward. So Takuma-kun might make a good candidate. But there's a rift between you two. What happened? Can't we just settle this with a pocket circuit race? Well, let's walk and talk. A lot has gone down since you left. Uh. Sure. Please, update me on the pocket circuit scene. He's getting married too! <laughs> Walking and talking. So what happened to Takuma-kun? Well... Hey, Hideki-kun! Oh. Hello. Oh. oh, hey. I didn't know you were in town again, Hideki-kun. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I guess Hideki-kun knows her. She seems familiar. Is this a friend of yours? Nice to meet you. I'm... Huh? Wait a second! Mm -hmm. That intimidating face, that fierce gaze. Are you Kazuma-kun? That means you must be... <laughs> We're reuniting! The gang's back together! Mika-chan! She's even dressed like she's in the 80s still. Uh. Wow, it's been forever! You stopped coming to the Pocket Circuit Stadium all of a sudden. We were worried about you. Uh, yeah, I was... I rejoined the Dojima family after a tumultuous year. Uh. I see. Sorry about that. Life kind of happened. How have you been, Mika-chan? I'm not gonna tell you the specifics. I've been okay, but I'm glad to see you. <laughs> remember how I used to tell the other racers I was your girlfriend? Yeah, I, yeah, I remember. I was about to, yeah, uh, those were good times. <laughs> yeah, that was awkward. It's probably a little bit more appropriate now, but at the time it was awkward. <laughs> and then my dad got the wrong idea and tried to get you arrested? Uh, yeah, well, uh, that was even more awkward. <laughs> oh, I'm working at that cafe right now. I'd love it if you would stop by sometime so we could catch up. 
Uh, sure. But I'm a little busy at the moment. I'll head over when I've got some time. Oh, come on. Just stop in for a second. You've only gotten more handsome with age, and I want to show you off. Uh, I'm not your I'm not your boyfriend anymore. Yeah. Uh, not that I ever was. <laughs> uh, no, I really, I'm... Uh, well, hold on a sec. What's wrong with you, Hideki? Mm -hmm. Whoa. What's wrong, Hideki-kun? No. Mika-chan, haven't I aged like fine wine, too? I'm sure your co-workers would like a look at these goods. Uh, I wanted to introduce Kazuma-kun to them. Look at the intensity of his brow. And he was such a fast racer. He was coming his fastest until, up until five minutes ago. <sighs> now it's coming back to me. Hideki-kun was in love with Mika-chan. Is he still? I can't believe he's carried that torch for 17 years as he just fist bumps randomly. <laughs> I'm faster than him in pocket circuit. I spent my whole first paycheck on the best parts and mods. <laughs> what? Your whole paycheck? What a loser. <laughs> I need someone who can take care of me. Who can actually buy groceries and pay the mortgage, not buy pocket circuit cars. Oh god, she's backing off. Hideki is making himself sound like a fool. And Mika-chan looks appalled. Cosmo could I challenge you to a race. Are you serious? What about finding the fighter's successor? I thought we were going to go see Takuma-kun. If he can beat me, I'll tell you all about Takuma-kun. Nani. What? Nani? I'm going to show you how much I've improved over the years. So, yeah, I'll see you at the Pocket Circuit Stadium. <laughs> this could be a fucking manga series. <laughs> Let's go, Mika-chan. Uh, pardon? I have to go too? Why the- what? Okay, he's off by himself. No. What's all this talk about fighter successor, anyway? <sighs> he may look more grown up, but he's still a kid inside. I guess I'll have to defeat him to find Takuma Kun. <laughs> I cannot believe we've got a serious crime drama going on, and then we've got a sub story, which has got, like, quite a bit of effort put into it on Pocket Circuit. It's, <laughs> it's great. I lost to Majima. I am not going to lose to you. Oh, oh Kazuma Kun. I've been waiting. Can you race now? Let's race. Uh, yeah, I'm ready if you are. All right, I'll show you how much better I am now. Okay, we've stuck with Killer B. No modifications applied. Hopefully we do better against Tadeki than we did against Majima. Go! All right, it's a good start. We're in first place. Sorry, Hideki. Looks like you're still a loser 17 years later. <laughs> how the hell are you going to impress Mikachan? This is appalling. I'm barely ahead of you. Oh, that must be so tantalizing. Oh, shit. He's overtaking me. Nope, he hasn't. <laughs> this is too close for comfort. I need a boost. Not yet, though. I'll let him get a little bit closer. So he feels good about himself. Jeez. That'll teach you to save your money, Hideki. Blossom your money on your freaking pocket circuit car. Oh, no. He's beating me. I can't... I can't catch up. What's going on? I'm gonna need a boost. Now! Do it! Uh, no! We're good, we're good, we're good! Final lap! Oh, I can inch ahead of it! I can hit you ahead of it! Yeah! Oh, you can't catch me. I couldn't even see him around the corner! Sorry, buddy! I guess she's still my girlfriend after all these years. Yeah! Kazuma Kun! Alright, Mikachan, come here. Where's the bubbles at? Pop the champagne! See, Majima, I'm still a winner. <laughs> Kazuma kun you're so fast. No way. How could I lose after sinking all that money into my car? And it was the rookie course, too. Dude. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten this incredible feeling of satisfaction when you win against a child, I mean, a rival racer. <laughs> I knew you still had skills, Kazuma kun Makes me want to race again, too. Then I'll help you choose your parts. I'm sure there's stuff you don't remember, so... Uh, dude. <laughs> you were so slow. I wouldn't want you choosing my parts. Hey, wait a minute. You haven't forgotten about the fighter and his problem, right? Oh, oh yeah. Right. <sighs> Give me a break. Mm -hmm. What are you guys talking about? Actually... Walk and talk with us. What? The fighter has a fiancé? <laughs> it took me by surprise, too. I want to help him get married, because he may not get another chance like this. So that's why you're looking for a successor. Do you have someone in mind? I was thinking of going to see Takuma-kun, actually. Huh? Huh? Takuma-kun? 
It'll be an uphill battle, but with Kazuma-kun being back, I figured Takuma-kun might seize the opportunity. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're right. What happened to Takuma-kun while I was gone? Takuma-kun's love for Pocket Circuit only grew, to the point that he pursued a career in F1 racing. Oh, that's... that's not exactly in your pocket, is it? Whoa, a real racer, huh? But becoming an F1 racer is extremely difficult. You need skills, of course, but also money and connections. There were too many requirements to get in. Takuma-kun was working hard, but in the end he just gave up. So that's what happened. I'm sure breaking into the racing industry is tough. So what's he doing with himself now? He switched jobs a whole lot of times. Right now he's a host over on Tenkaichi Street. Manny. Takuma-kun. A host? That's hard to imagine. He got the job through a friend. But I don't think he's excelling at it, and we've sort of stopped talking. Well, at least he had some connection that was just for the wrong line of work. And I figured if he's not happy as a host, maybe he'll consider being the next generation fighter. Ah, I see. Thanks for letting me know. I'll go talk to Takuma-kun. You guys stay here. What? You're going alone? There's a madman here with an eye patch. I don't want to stay around with him. Uh, yeah, you'll be fine. This is going to be a man-to-man -man kind of talk. All right. I guess I'm not mad enough then. You'll find Takuma-kun at the club called Stardust. Huh, Stardust, huh? Crazy. Okay, I'll go see him. Lucky he wasn't the one who beat me up when I first visited there. Take care, Kazuma-kun. All right, well, we're going to need to handle the pocket circuit saga. Kazuma-kun. Oh. Hmm? What's up, fighter? Sorry about all of this. It was my selfish request that got you involved in all this. Hmm. Don't worry. Consider it working off the value of that machine you gave me. Thank you. You're such a great guy, Kazuma-kun. You just keep doing what you do and handle the live commentary for now. Uh. Right on. I really owe you one, Kazuma-kun. Don't worry, pal. I got your back. I'll make sure you're happily married.